Carolina are looking for the person who they say shot a family's dog nearly a hundred times with a BB gun. Anne Marie Haggerty has that story. I see she's always a happy dog running to meet me when I come home and coming all the way to the door. Edith Pritchard is Brownie's mom, a Jack Russell mix that was born at Pritchard's house seven years ago. Pritchard lives in a tight knit community in Morganton, so Brownie usually runs around outside, then runs back home. But one day, Brownie didn't come back. Some way or another, she got wandered away from the neighborhood. But then, about a quarter of a mile away, they found Brownie in a ditch and it was covered in his nose and she could, they, he couldn't move. Christy Fries and her mom helped save Brownie from the ditch and reconnect her with Pritchard. But instead of relief that her dog was found, that's when the real bad news started. He said, Edith, I don't think she can see. I said, well, what happened to her eyes? What happened, the vet told the family, was that Brownie was shot in the eyes. This dog was tied and shot at close range with his BB gun over a hundred times. I couldn't believe that anybody could put that many small bullets in a dog. Pritchard says when she used to call Brownie's name, he would wag his tail and run over in excitement, but now he doesn't respond. So in addition to being blinded, Pritchard also says she thinks Brownie is deaf. To me, this is torture. This was torture to a defenseless, beautiful little animal that hurt no one. Now, no one is in custody for doing this to Brownie. Burke County Sheriff's Office tells me animal control is investigating. Freeze says they need to step up the investigation to find the person who did this. You need to be in jail and rot right there to hold a dog down and shoot it that many times and shoot it in its eyes and put its eyes out. That's, that's uncalled for. I would want to know why they were so evil that they could do an animal like this. And that was Anne-Marie Haggerty reporting.